Hey guys, this is Danielle Hall from Sound Embrace. Thank you so much for taking a listen here. This is the first kind of podcast type thing that I'm trying out. Not sure if it's going to be a thing, but um, <clears throat> I've had a request for this uh, from a few people. So just going to see how it goes. <laughs> Um, so, uh, I have been thinking a lot about love the past couple of days. Uh, well, a couple, well, week, I guess, uh, we were just kind of cruised on by Valentine's day. And I was reminded about this story that I heard from a Ted talk and I really wish I could find it. I, I went back and searched for it to, so that you could hear the original, um, speaker, but I, I just couldn't find it. So if this story sounds familiar to anybody, um, and you can find that TED Talk, I would love to give this dude credit because he had just inspired this whole story for me to express to you today. So uh, I'm calling this newsletter, I'm calling this podcast <laughs> today, Making Space, A Love Story. So I, I meet a guy. He's handsome. He's funny. We hug it out. And I'm like, all right, I'm digging your vibe. I decide, yeah, I'm going to make space for this guy in my heart, but not my whole heart. He doesn't get the whole thing. I design a very special meditation cushion just for him. So when he comes over into my heart, he has a place to sit. So after I invite him in a few times, I can tell by his actions, you know, he's digging me and he's really taking care of the space and he's really digging my style of meditation cushions and so my trust in him grows a little bit and I decide, I'm like, okay, I'm going to, I'm going to make him a little more space. I'm going to give him a couch because after all, we both work hard and sometimes we really just want to Netflix and chill. A couch would be way more comfortable for that. So then one day I realized that I really like hanging out with this guy, like really, really liking him. And I, I can tell that he's He's really digging me too, so I decide I'm going to make even more space for him in my heart. I'm going to build him a condo. I'll let him decorate it and, you know, fill it with whatever Xbox, Nintendo, whatever thing he needs. I mean, because, like, guys, face it, like, he needs something else to do because I'm not going to be there all the time. I'm pretty independent. I like to do my own thing, and yeah. Okay, moving on. Some more time goes by. We are having fun, and we start talking about the future. Man, my heart is just becoming so big and so expansive and so full that, hey, I, I decide I'm going to give him even more space, and I'm, I build him a mansion, you know, with the backyard as this, like, really cool lake-ocean hybrid thing for fishing, jet skiing, or, you know what, just to ponder life's mysteries. And I take a moment to just step back. I'm looking in awe of this space that I've created and this space that I have entrusted to him. Everything is beautiful and I feel amazing and I, I feel expansive. But then something happens. It wasn't planned. I never saw it coming. We break up. He moves out of the house I built for him. Anger fills my being, and I start trashing the place. I tear down pictures. I smash anything and everything I can get my hands on. And then I set the house on fire. As I watch the house blaze up in smoke, I can feel the rise and fall of my chest as tears stream down my face. I think about the space I made for him, the memories. But what I really feel is the void. Although he has moved out of my heart, there's, there's still this space that was left behind. So what do I do with this space? It's not like the space goes back to where it started. It's not like it goes back to where it was. I mean, it stretched and it had to grow. There was only, there's only one thing I could do. There's only one thing I can do. I rebuild. I clean up the broken pieces and ash and build something beautiful and healing in its place. 
not to cover up where he had been or the hurt that I felt, but to celebrate my capacity to love, to celebrate my courage to love and to love this big. And maybe for some people, they build the dopest dance floor. Maybe for some people, they build the raddest water park. I think I'm going to build the sweetest sound healing temple made with sacred geometry and crystal walls. I build to celebrate this beautiful space that represents my capacity to love and to love so, so big and to love so deeply so that when I look across the landscape of my heart, it is filled with beauty and gratitude. Eventually, it'll happen again. I'll meet someone new. He'll be cute and funny. We'll hug it out and I'll give it another shot. I'll feel enough of a connection with him to make space in my heart for him. I'll invite him in to sit on a meditation cushion made just for him. And with time, I'll gain the confidence through his actions to make a little more space. And a little more. And a little more. Opening myself up little by little to experience the most courageous thing any of us could ever do. Love. So I hope you're digging on this um, and that maybe some part of this resonates with you. We don't have to give all of ourself away when we first meet someone, even when we feel this connection so strongly and so deeply right off the bat. You know, um, making space for someone is a courageous act. Opening up your heart even just a little gives you the opportunity to see if they're really going to take care of your heart, if they're really going to take care of that space that you're creating for them. And when you trust that person through their actions, you can, you'll begin to see, hey, you know what? Yeah, I can, I can give them a little bit more space. I can give them more of me. And I trust that they're going to take care of that. Hope to see you guys at a sound bath soon. Uh, where we can hug it out and make a little bit more space in our hearts for each other. (laughs) Uh, Thank you for being on this journey with me, and I look forward to connecting with you next week.